And for this section, we're going to bring back uh, an old friend of the show that we've had in a couple of episodes here. Maybe you've seen him. His name is Jerry Marzinski, and he first appeared in this episode, How to Deal with Evil Spirits. So Jerry is a licensed therapist who worked for over 30 years. He's retired now in a clinical setting with people who, a lot of whom were uh, hearing voices or psychotic. He worked in both prisons and hospital intakes uh, and, and places associated with that. And he was, while he was working with these patients, asking them about what they were experiencing. So if they were hearing voices, he would say, well, what are the voices telling you to do? And just gathered, you know, phenomenological phenomenological data that way to what get a picture of what these voices are like. And he was able from that to figure out a lot about how these voices operated uh, and general trends, and also found it was very similar to a lot of stuff Swedenborg had said about how evil spirits were influencing him. And Jerry had a lot of experience with people who were addicted to drugs or uh, what we would now call substance use disorder, or had been, and he got some. He got to hear from them how the voices reacted to drugs in general. So this is from an interview we did with Jerry for this show. He begins with this point. There, there was one quote that I read in Swedenborg where he talked about dealing with evil spirits and then feeling drained afterwards. Yeah, the quote he's referring to, this is one, there's, I think, one other one. He said, the Swedenborg says, when they attach themselves, they, he's talking about particular spirits, themselves to someone, they then induce mental torment from boredom, which they increase and breathe in continually, and thus make one impatient, all of which creates intense pain and induces such weakness of the body that one can scarcely raise oneself from bed. This was shown to me by the fact that when they were present, this kind of weakness took hold on me, and when they were removed, it ceased in the degree that they were removed. They also employ many in art to pour in boredom and buy this weakness. Sorry, just wanted to show you what he's talking about. Back to Jerry. That's a very uh, significant point. Um, what these things feed off of is negative emotional energy. Sorry, one more, just one more. Because there is, again, Swedenborg, a couple hundred years earlier, describing the same thing that Jerry found in asking these patients. A certain murderous spirit was inwardly thinking of nothing else but revenge, and in fact so covertly that I saw nothing of what he was thinking. He raised up in everyone his own subjects. From my mind, he raised up whatever he could distort into evil and then into hatred, and so he fed himself continually. This is a way that he gains sustenance. Plus, a couple episodes ago, we did an episode called Does My Life Matter? And in that, we talked about how angels feed off of good thoughts and feelings. So this would be the result, or the reverse of that. So I'll stop interrupting now. We're going to hear Jerry talk about, given that, that these whatever these negative entities are that he's interacting with, that they feed off of negative emotion. What? How does that interface with substance use, and why would those voices be pushing for that in the first place? So here's what he had to say. And that's what they get out of the, the drug use, because the, the drugs at first, what they want is drugs that feel good at first, you know, and, um, you know, they, they help the person calm their, their nervousness and their anxiety, and, and they change, uh, you know, the way you see things, so it's novel and it's easy it's it's you don't have to work like meditation um so what they want is a drug that feels good at first but the withdrawal is extremely negative right and once you feel bad like swedenborg said once you feel bad then you start thinking bad right and then they jump on that and they expand those thoughts as much as possible it's like they pour gasoline on the fire so you know, you feel good at first. You get you, you get the high. You're you're feeling wonderful, and then the withdrawal becomes extremely nasty the further you go. So, bottom line, what these things are after is to turn your emotional energy negative. Mm -hmm. 